We continue to learn and become more comfortable with the scatter charts. Let's create one more. I'm going to click on the Bark Income Sheet. The Bark Income Sheet, it has two data series here. The first one in column A is the average dog barks per night. And uh, the second data series in column B is the average household income. So how about we plot and see the dependency between those two data series? I'm going to click on the data, insert, uh, and go to the scatter, and just insert a regular scatter chart. This is an example when there's no correlation in the data. So we plotted average dog barks per night and versus average household income. And um, now what? Of course, we can plot pairs of corresponding values in the two data series. However, does it make any sense? There's no correlation whatsoever. Now, I also, in this video, wanted to mention one uh, important element of a chart that we have not played with previously. And the scatter chart is actually a good chart to talk about that data element. I'm going to go to the add chart element. And the element I'm talking about is called trend line. There are various trend lines and I'm going to select linear trend line. And it plots the trend line without any data. So we don't have a data. We don't have a data series for the trend line. But we have a trend line now for our data. And this data doesn't have much of a trend because uh, there's no correlation between the two data series. Let's see what other trend lines we have there. Trend line, exponential trend line. Notice every, every time I add a trend line, it adds another line rather than replacing an existing line. I'm going to take a look at another one. Trend line, linear forecast, moving average. Now, moving average doesn't make sense whatsoever. A moving average would require the data to be sorted in a particular way, not uh, having it random, completely random. Okay, in the next video, we're going to continue to learn the scatter charts. And uh, in the meantime, make sure to play with it a little bit and become more comfortable with, the, uh, with this particular data set. I will see you in the next video.